Hi everybody, this is Julian from AWS. In this video, I would like to show you how to use Amazon Recognition, our image and video analysis service, to build a virtual proctoring application. Proctoring is simply the act of supervising an online course or an online exam. And given the state of the world today, a lot of us are working from home. So whether we're students taking online exams or professionals taking online certifications, there's a strong need to verify that the person who is sitting in front of the webcam is the person who's supposed to be there and that uh, this person is not using an online phone or books or any resource to uh, cheat during the, the class or the exam. So that's the problem we're solving today. Using AWS CloudFormation, we can automatically deploy a virtual proctoring application and this is a web-based application that uses recognition for face detection, face comparison, object detection, and so on. And uh, this uses a, a number of APIs in recognition that are invoked by Lambda functions uh, themselves uh, hidden behind uh, APIs in API Gateway. Okay, so this is a really fun demo. Uh, let's get started right away. This is our starting point. It's an AWS samples repository that has everything that we need for the demo. So, of course, we can see uh, the architecture here. And it's pretty much what you would expect. So we have a, we have a browser based application. It's hosted in, uh, in S3. And uh, this one exposes a number of APIs. So there is one for authentication, um, because as an admin user, you can register uh, new users to the proctoring application. We will see how this works. Uh, obviously, there's an API that captures frames from your webcam and sends them for analysis to recognition. And there's the uh, add a new user API. Okay, so all of these are uh, uh, handled by Lambda. And uh, the actual recognition work uh, is done by this, uh, this Lambda function. So it's going to try and detect persons. It's going to try and detect objects of interest. You know, am I using my cell phone during the test or something like that? Um, it's going to do a face detection. It's going to do unsafe content detection. So I don't know, maybe I'm pulling a gun during the test. You know, who knows? Anything could happen. Uh, and it's going to try and search for uh, a face in the collection. OK. So it, it's really simple to use, and um, and we'll uh, we'll actually go the full setup, okay? But before we do that, let's just fire up the CloudFormation template. So I'm using the Ireland region here. Uh, we have a template, so we can just click on Next. I need to enter the email address for the admin. Okay, so that's the person who's going to register new uh, students, if you want. Uh, and then I can just keep everything else as is. Uh, we have a list of recognition labels for objects of interest. So here, well, let's start with mobile phone and cell phones. I'll show you later how you can actually update the stack to add new labels, right? If you want to detect, let's say, books or something else. Okay, so just click on Next. Uh, yep, Next again. And I think we can create the stack, check those boxes, and create the stack. Okay, so it's going to take just a few minutes. Uh, I'll pause the video and uh, and let's meet when the stack is ready. After a few minutes, the stack is complete, and we can see uh, all the related events here. Uh, so we created the Lambda functions and the API gateway, and there's a Cognito user pool for uh, authentication. So it's all fine. I also got automatically um, an email, right, uh, to the uh, admin address that I specified. And uh, yeah, we can just grab this temporary password and connect. OK. Oh, I should change the password. Okay, let's do that. Uh, 
Okay, you need permission. Yes. And yes. Okay. All right. All right, so now we see uh, we see the virtual proctoring application. And uh, yeah, so yeah, now you see me twice on the screen. What a nightmare. So the first thing is obviously we need to add a new user. Okay, so we can uh, we can just do this. So I'm gonna add myself. And I have a screenshot that I took previously. Yes. Okay, so this uh, will get added to the recognition um, collection of faces. And obviously, uh, when we start the proctoring application, uh, whoever stands uh, in front of the webcam uh, will will be matched against this collection. Okay. Okay, we can start the app now. Just click on this. And uh, within a few seconds, we should see some information on the right. So objects of interest, zero. I'm not using a cell phone. Person detection two, or does it even say three? Oh, two, okay. Oh, I know what it is. I think it's my, uh, it's my painting in the back. Okay, let me remove the painting. <laughs> so now, all right, night only one. Okay, see? Good job, recognition. You can even recognize people in paintings. That's pretty cool. Uh, person recognition is me. Face detection only one. No unsafe content. Okay. So um, if I was taking a test, th this would be fine, right? It's only me in front of the screen. I'm not using my cell phone. I'm not doing anything silly. And apparently there's no one else in this room. So now let's say I want to cheat. So I want to call somebody who actually knows all the answers to the test. So let's see how this works. Oh, it caught me. Cell phone, mobile phone. So, uh, you know, whoever's supervising the test now, is, uh, now knows I'm cheating. So that's awful. Okay. All right. All right. So now let's say I want to cheat with a book. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, all the answers are in this very good book. It's not picking it up because it wasn't told to detect books, right? So that's definitely something we've got to fix. Uh, now we need to run one more test. What if somebody really, really smarter than me is trying to take the test? So I'm going to call my son, who's arguably much smarter than I am, and he's going to sit in front of the cam. So come over here and you're going to help daddy answer all those questions, right? All right. So it's one person, all right, but it's not me, right? Obviously. So personal recognition is not working here. And if I'm showing up now, hi. Okay, now it detects two persons, which isn't good because I'm supposed to be on my own here, right? Okay, so not too good, right? I'm cheating again. Thank you. So whoever's supervising would me on, on the chat or yell at me and tell me that hmm, there's someone else in the room I'm not doing the right thing see and now, now it's good again okay so now let's say you want to add extra um, extra objects that are detected okay so let's say we want to add books so let's uh, let's see how we do this so you would simply go back to your stack and click on update uh, use the current template and we would add labels here so and these would be recognition labels so if you want to figure out the, the right labels uh, you would simply take pictures of all the objects that you don't want to see uh, during the test and run them through recognition to understand exactly you know how, how they're called but they usually have straightforward names so if we go with book and textbook um, it should be okay right so what what this does is basically it's going to ask that Lambda function to look for uh, additional labels. Okay, so we just click on Next. Next. 
and yes, update the stack. So it's going to update the stack. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna probably maybe redeploy the Lambda function. Uh, and I'll see you in a minute. After a minute or two, the stack has been updated and we can see uh, it has been updated, uh, the Lambda function, uh, probably you know packaging it again with the new labels to be detected. Okay, so going back to the application, um, I stopped it so that we can start it again. And let's try, let's try to get a book. Hmm. Good book. Love it. Ah, I'm cheating. Terrible. Okay. All right. So remove the book. Okay. Oh, let's look at another book. Really good one too. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm definitely cheating. And while we're at it, I still, I like this one a lot as well. So now you know. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cheating again. See? So it, it's really, really easy to update this. And um, and you just redeploy uh, the, the function that uh, detects um, the objects. So if you want to add more labels, that's all you need to know.